Hi everyone, my name is Ben Hall and I'm a scientist in the Wisconsin Energy Institute. When I'm not working on science, I really like to get outside and go bike or especially go skiing in the winter. But today we're gonna talk about some science. Today we're gonna learn about these tiny little organisms that actually live all around us called bacteria. And bacteria are almost always super helpful for us and totally harmless. And they are used in everything from helping us make food, helping us make beverages, cleaning up oil spills. And what my lab studies them for is trying to figure out how we can use bacteria to help us turn plants like maybe corn or grass into biofuels that then you could run your car with. So um, today we're gonna look a little bit more at bacteria and how we study them in the lab. Almost always, scientists want to grow bacteria so that they can see them more easily and uh, do experiments on them. In order to do that, we use something called a Petri dish. So a Petri dish is a little plastic plate, and you can see it's filled about halfway with something called auger. And auger is like a nice food that bacteria like to eat. So once bacteria end up on this plate and they have that auger, they can eat up that food, and if we give them somewhere nice and warm to grow over a day or two, then they'll actually multiply and multiply until they come up on these plates in the form of colonies. So we'll be able to see colonies on a plate because they look like these little spots, as you can see here. And these colonies actually all started from one single cell that just started eating the auger and dividing and dividing so much that they just started piling up onto each other to become this colony. Different bacteria um, will actually look different and form different kinds of colonies, which can be really useful for us to tell them apart if we're looking at different kinds of bacteria. So we can see, in this case, these two different kinds of bacteria show up as completely different colors on a plate. So this weekend, we are going to do an experiment. So we are going to see you know, just what kinds of bacteria are out there in the environment. And I'm gonna go take some environmental samples, but I need your help to choose where I'm going to sample. Basically, what I'm going to do is, once you guys let me know where you want me to sample, I'm gonna go out with a cotton swab. And let's say you tell me you want me to sample my water bottle, for example. So I'm going to take this cotton swab and I'm going to rub it all over the water bottle or wherever you want me to sample. And then I'm going to get a fresh uh, petri dish of auger. And I'm going to open it up and rub this cotton swab all over the surface of this auger. So that any bacteria that were on this swab are now ending up on the plate auger where they can have plenty of food to eat and grow. Then, once I get all of these samples on the different petri dishes, I'm going to bring them back to my lab where I'll stink, stick them in an incubator, which is a nice warm place that they can sit overnight. And on Sunday, we'll come back together and look at the results. So, on Sunday, I'll be hosting a live session where you can all join in and we'll look at all the different plates of the different places you wanted me to sample. And we'll be able to compare, you know, which bacteria grew in which places. Are there different ones here versus there? So uh, it should be a great time. But again, I need your help. So after you're done watching this video, please go to the Google Form link provided and let me know where you want me to sample. I have some ideas already on there, but please be creative. And if you think of something else, write it on that form and let me know where you want me to sample. It should be a really cool experiment. Also, like any scientist, we should definitely make predictions about what we think. So before Sunday, try and ask yourself, what do you think, which places do you think will have the most bacteria? Which places do you think will have the most variety of bacteria? 
the most different kinds all in one place. Then come back on Sunday and join me to look at the different plates and see if your predictions match the results. Thanks for participating, and I hope to see you then.